base camp here in Crosby, Minnesota. It's connected to the Cuyuna Trail System. It has these beautiful wooden areas with hiking and then it has these sparkling mine lakes. This area has these tent cabins that are really fun. It kind of meets in that middle where, you know, if you have people in your group that wants to rough it a little bit, they can still have that feeling. But if you have people in your group that's more of a glamper, they can still have that security too. So these tent cabins are perfect for it. For me, there's always this excitement when, when we can go camping and really just use what's around us, what's around us in nature, what we can pull from the waters and uh, just throw it over the fire. Today, we're gonna be making grilled rainbow trout with a delicious herb salad and fried rice. Now this herb salad is such a fun salad to do with your whole family. Because one of the big things is you need people to help you pick all the little pieces of herbs out. So the herbs that we're gonna be using is cilantro. Uh, we have dill, which goes really well with seafood. We have uh, Thai basil, which is a little different from your uh, regular basil you get at your grocery store. We have mint and then we have scallions. We're gonna pick some of the leaves of the cilantro in. And then we're gonna keep the stem. So we're gonna just run our knife through it and just go real thin. We'll take some dill. And then we have our Thai basil. With Thai basil, I try not to cut it with a knife because sometimes with knives, it bruises the, um, the herb and then it kind of gives a bitter taste to it. So I just say, just tear it with your hands. So you got your, the Thai basil, just tear it with your hands. And then one of my favorite herbs is mint. I just use my hands and just tear them up. Okay, and then we have uh, our scallion here. Scallions, throw it in. The reason why I use shallots instead of uh, red onions or you know regular white onions is shallots are a little bit milder and it's a little sweeter. So if we're gonna do any kind of sauce that's gonna be raw, um, I really love using shallots instead of uh, uh, onions. We're gonna add some acid in here. So with that, we're gonna start with a lime. We'll throw our lime juice right in. Some salt, and I'm a huge fan of cracked pepper. So I usually just, I add a lot of this in here. We will add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And then a little oil, we just throw a little oil. It's gonna help bring everything together. You wanna lightly toss everything in that dressing that you put in. And here is your herb salad. I think a lot of times when people think of fried rice, they think of, oh, like how can you cook fried rice outside? Well, what you need is a heat source and a pan. So what we'll do is we have our pan here, we have our fire going and you just throw your pan right on top. One of the things I always tell people is just don't let the fire control you, you control the fire. So if your pan gets too hot, just remove it from the fire. The first thing uh, you wanna do is you wanna render down your bacon. So what we have here is we already have some bacon. So we're just gonna add our bacon in there. Nothing smells better than bacon cooking in the woods. Okay, so we have that going. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sofrito, you know, um, or I call it our mong sofrito, which is uh, ginger, garlic, we have a shallot, and then lemongrass. I'm gonna take the garlic, take the back of your knife, smash it down. Now this is very, very important, guys. When you're making this, you don't want to actually throw the garlic in right away, right? Because if you do, it's so hot in here, it's gonna burn the garlic and then it's gonna become bitter. Just put that to the side. Next thing we do is we're gonna do our ginger. Next thing we do is we'll have our shallots. You grab the lemongrass. You really wanna smash that lemongrass because what you really wanna do is you wanna extract all those oils out. Throw that to the side. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna add some uh, Fresno chilies inside. So, so again, we'll just add that over there. We'll just toss it right in. That's beautiful, you hear that sizzle. That's where you wanna be. Now, the, the most important thing is you don't want this to burn. So you're gonna move it around. So I'm just gonna grab this, move it around, toss it. One of the first dishes that I learned how to make growing up was fried rice, because you would always have leftover rice. So one of the most important thing is, when you're making fried rice, you actually want rice that's day old. You want it to be cold, you want it to be old, it's almost like crumbly and dry. And we're gonna throw our rice in here. I'm gonna throw a little salt. 
little pepper. Okay. We have a little soy sauce we're just gonna throw in here. We're also gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. Just love that flavor of sesame oil. You don't want a lot, because sesame oil is pretty intense. You wanna make sure everything's covered, okay? Put a little oil in the center here, and you take your eggs, and you're gonna crack your eggs, and you're gonna put it right in the center there. As you put the eggs in, it's gonna help absorb all the rest of that oil. Scramble your eggs right in the center, okay? And then just like if you're uh, making dough, making pasta, just bring in the rice. I really like just to add some fresh vegetables at the end. So again, if you're going out camping, just grab some um, frozen peas and carrots, add it right in. And again, you want this right at the end. You don't want it in the beginning because it's going to be mushy. So at the end, that residual heat is going to help cook that peas and carrots, right? Right here. This is how you'll serve it. The fish here is very simple. We're just gonna take this rack, open it up. I like to take the fish, and you're gonna have to give it a little push here to split the head up a little bit. And then you put, we put our racks on, give it the even salt here. This fish, as you can tell, is very, very thin. So it's not gonna take that long to cook. And that's why this is one of those dishes that's so fun to cook outside. If you feel like your heat is too high, there's just these like this little trick I do. You're just gonna take a piece of uh, log or you're gonna put it on the edge of your grill here and then you're gonna take um, your rack and you're just gonna lean it right up there. It gives it a little bit of space away from the heat. So when we're doing this, the first thing that I'm really looking at is I want that skin side to cook. And like you can actually hear, if you listen closely, you can hear that crisping of that skin, and that's what we're really going for. You see that the skin side is starting to toast up. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna flip it. Now on this next part, I really want to get, kind of build a, a little crust on that flesh. So I'm actually gonna just remove our wood here, and then we're just gonna go straight on. And there we go. We're putting the whole dish together. Again, we have this beautiful fish here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this fish in, open it up, put the fish right in the center of the board. And I just throw my herb salad right in the center here. You take your fried rice. We have our rainbow trout with our herb salad. And then we have our fried rice. 